Hello, so today I'm going to be demonstrating how to remove an observation beehive um, that's currently installed. So I've actually already removed the four boxes um, on the top of the beehive and just left our kind of custom um, bottom board box uh, with some, some bees kind of left over in the bottom there at the bottom. Uh, so normally you would want to remove an observation beehive at nighttime once the bees have all come back for the day, all the foragers. Um, I tried to get here early in the morning um, and it had been raining since the night, um, but sure enough, like right after I started driving, the rain stopped, so a whole bunch of foragers left and uh, the activity increased a lot. So I thought rather than just taking the whole hive at once um, and trying to do what I'm about to demonstrate here with a big full heavy hive above it, um, I thought it would be easier to take off the top part and just leave the bottom um, to demonstrate how to do this in a little bit easier way. Uh, also, just this method, um, it's easier to do it with just the bottom board box here anyway because then you can just reach your hands around easier. If the whole hive was on top of this, it's hard to reach around. Um, so, all right, so what I've done so far is I've screwed on um, a separator to the top of the bottom board box, um, just so this thing, you know, stays on. You don't want to accidentally bump it off. Um, and uh, I had put uh, a couple extra boxes here on top just to catch some foragers. Um, they seem to all just go right back out of the hive though, so <laughs> I don't know if that really worked. Anyway, uh, all right, so since I'm doing this alone, I got all my materials ready to go. Um, I've got two plastic, uh, you know, little pieces here and some corks. And my plan is to take these separators and um, kind of like slide them in this way. Um, once I pull apart the um, entrance tube from the bottom board box. And one of them I'm going to tape to the hive and the other one I'm going to uh, keep attached to the opening of the entrance tube. Um, the reason you need to close up the entrance tube is if you don't, all those foragers will just enter the room. Um, so we always wanna make sure that we block up the entrance tube once we're taking out the observation hive. Um, and uh, I might just leave the separator taped onto the entrance opening, um, but you can also just uh, swap out that piece of plastic for a cork and just kind of like cork up the entrance tube, so either way. Um, okay, so I'm gonna give this a shot. This always makes me nervous, but at least it's only, it's only one tiny little bottom board box. There's probably only like a dozen bees in there. Okay. Let's see if I can set my camera. Don't know what kind of view you're gonna really have here because my hands are gonna be in the way, but we're gonna try. Okay. Um, and notice I, I also have some, some tape, duct tape already ready, ready to go. All right. I try to, you know, time it with when there are a few bees around the opening, but honestly, there's just so many of them right now. I don't know if it's worth it. So I think we might just go for it. I'm just try to, maybe we'll just do one separator and then Try to squeeze in the second one after. Okay. I realize one disadvantage of this now, I've never actually done it with the metal separator on top. When we have the, the boxes on top, you can see through the glass to where the bottom of your tube is. And I can't quite do that right now. It's a bummer. I can get a sense for it. My tube ends about here. All right. Just pop it up real slow. See the end of it. Oh, I just remembered I've got to keep my, my base here way back because I want, I want um, the edge of my plastic to actually not go above the, the edge of my hive here. Nope, okay, so there's my opening. So I'm just gonna slip in my plastic like that. So see, I've now got, I've blocked the entrance um, to the beehive. 
So, and they're gonna be super confused because <laughs> it's clear and they don't know what's happening. Um, I'm gonna slip in my other one while there's no one at the entrance tube. Okay, so now I've got my two pieces of plastic in there and I'm gonna grab my tape here and we're gonna very delicately see if we can keep our the plant. Whoop, hello. Probably shouldn't have let go. Keep our two pieces of plastic there. And I'm gonna slip in. Oh, duct tape one handed is hard. Slip in my tape. All right, that tapes the plastic down on one side. Same thing on the other side. So I'm pretty lucky this is pretty easy to do when the activity is so low. I've got my my plastic piece attached to my bottom board so that hive is sealed up so now I think I'm gonna do this as soon as those bees walk away we'll swap out our piece of plastic for uh, this little cork Like that. Okay. So now any foragers that come back, they can't enter the classroom. Okay. Ooh. All right, so my next step, um, I'm just gonna bring this entrance, uh, this, uh, sorry, not entrance, this um, bottom board box with me uh, to the car where I've got the rest of the hive. And then I'm going to install my bottom board box uh, first in the new hive location and then attach the rest of the hive uh, on top. Um, so if you already have uh, a setup like in my classroom here where the entrance tube is already like already drilled permanently through the wall and like stuck here, um, that it really helps to just put the bottom board box on first um, and then the rest of the hive. Um, alternatively, you could just attach it to the hive and then set it up to a window or whatever, but I think we are, we are all set here with my hive removal. So whatever bees are stuck in the entrance tube, they're, they're just gonna die, unfortunately. Um, and whatever foragers come back after this point, also just gonna die because I've taken the hive, unfortunately. So that's why it's best to do this at, at nighttime once all the bees are back for the day. Okay, that's a wrap.